my loud, loud voice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the next the next presentation will be by uh, José Boyo, correct? Okay. And he will be talking about a uh, security model for embedded systems. Uh, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, that's good. Oh yes, that works. I will uh, talk to you about uh, SMAC, that is simplified the mandatory access control by the kernel. Uh, so, first, uh, a little bit of context explaining you why I'm here. Uh, if it works. Okay. It works. Can you stay here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, it works. Uh, I'm Jose Boyo from uh, the Society Logiciel. We are working under orders of uh, Intel on the Tizen project, which uh, includes from the beginning uh, the smart uh, Linux security model, uh, module inside him. Well, I will first give some overview about SMAC. Uh, it's mainly uh, designed by uh, Kaze Schoffler. I, I don't know his exact pronunciation. Um, Oh, well, first, I had to say to you, uh, just after me, there is another presentation about SMAC, Integrity Protection Solution for Embedded System in the Embedded uh, Room. Okay. I, I've not missed. Okay. Uh, though it's in the kernel science since uh, these days. Um, and it's still evolving. That's not the, the first version that is currently working into the kernel. Uh, you just have to activate an option when in the configuration to use it. So it's inside kernel since its first day. Uh, that is uh, two years ago. Um, it used the extended file attribute to store data. And it's controlled through a virtual file system that's name is uh, SMACFS. That is used to control the access from processes to other processes, to files, to sockets, uh, to s anything a process can do. Well, SMAC is by its design simple. Uh, here you have a very simple rule, and that's almost what you have to know to use SMAC. Uh, this rule has a subject that here is system, an object label that here is the user, and the access granted to the subject to access the object. Here you have read, write, and execute access. Okay, what are labels? Subject, object. Labels are just text without any meaning. The case is not sensitive. Uh, is sensitive, excuse me. That's the true. Uh, the subjects are the running process. The objects are files, IPC, sockets, processes. The label of a, a process is called this context, that is the security context, and you can show using ps command the context of each running process, using id your own context, and ls show you not the context of the file, but the, the labels of the files. Um, the accesses are 
that our grand table, our read, write, execute, happen, what can be useful for locking, for uh, logging, excuse me, the, I'm confused with the next item that is locking files, that is not reading, not writing, and transmuting that allow a file system to give the label of the created files, item. How can you set a context? The answer is very simple, you can't. And that's the very important rule. But you, if you have the capability cap mac admin, you can. There exist some uh, useful comments. Search Mac is used to set accesses. Echo is set here in the proc file system to change its own context, the context of the running process. Here it works because that is the context of the bash that is changed with this command. How can you set the rules? Here again, the, the answer is easy, you can't. But if you have Mac admin capability, you can echo rules using the file system. Also, you can use a particular interface that is load self, and that you can use only to restrict your own right to access. For Tizen, we target a uh, mobile set, info entertainment, television, NUC box. We have versions with uh, generic that are using NUC, and we are still working on IVI. The target usage are either uh, single user and multi user, that's common, but also single sit and multi sit that's uh, quite unusual but that's the purpose of IVI system to offer more device to the passenger of the car <coughs> to install application using smack there exists some model here we have the model of installation by an installer only the installer, like RPM, by example, uh, take the application, look at its wanted security, and apply the rules to the SMAC database that grants access. In this model, a launcher is also used, but that is the launcher that prepares the environment for the application. <coughs> the two models are not really equals. <coughs> what is targeted also are uh, running widget applications or native applications. Each of its application use IPC to uh, use services offered by system, but you have to grant access when you install the application to services for the application. Uh, this application will not use my contact because I don't want it. Okay the installer recorded it and now you run the application use IPC to connect to services and should not be granted to use the services that ideally can be achieved by SMAC that there exists also other kind of uh, security systems well when using the implementation for this kind of problems, there is a difficulty that is due to the power characteristic, granting <coughs> M kind of resources to N, uh, of accesses to N resources. 
leads to empower and cases of security. That's not possible. For Tyson 2.0, uh, this kind of uh, security that use only the installer version <coughs> issued 33,232 rules on my mobile or my handset that's here. 33,000 rules of smack security. Well, as an administrator, when I have to know is the security of my device sure, I have to look at 33,000 rules. That's not possible. For Tizen IVI 3.0, we are looking uh, on the proposition of Kaze on another model that is quite more simple and that is only using three big domains of security that are floor, that's a kind of default uh, domain and floor <coughs> is for the bus system. The services are running under another domain that is system. There are also some sub-labels that are used uh, for IPC, system run, system shared, system log, that are used to have a finest grain on application accesses. And everything that user is running under the user domain. That's quite simple. You will f have here some links. I suppose I will uh, leave the presentation somewhere accessible without security. What is to record is that it's simple. You can activate it on any Linux kernel that is currently used in an embedded distribution of Linux. And you can contribute to the community. Thanks. Have you a question? Yeah. So this looks very similar to SE Linux, and I'm confused what the difference is. Um, the SMAC was made as a remedy to the complexity of SE Linux. Maybe, maybe... But it looks similar, it's basically the same model. So. Yeah. Very similar. Uh, in, in fact, uh, many codes are, uh, have the same uh, option ID dot dash uh, Z PS dash Z that's quite similar even in the command so I, I have to ask this what about AC Android which has about, let's say, 1,000 rules and five domains. I mean, you already have 32,000 domains, uh, rules for Tizen to zero. So, AC Android is more compact in, in uh, terms of rules that you need to have a system. And this is referring to embedded systems so you can customize them in production. Uh, I don't understand uh, each word. I'm sorry, I'm not... Uh so Are you speaking uh, S E N? I am speaking uh, a version of S E Linux, which was ported for Android, and it is called S E Android. Okay. And it's an S E Linux that has very few rules. And because this, we are talking about embedded system, it's very easy for the vendor to actually wrote, write that rules for you for the OEM, right? And okay. you ha only have about a thousand rules. And you in Tizen.0, you said you have 32,000, right? Yes, but About. We could, we, oh, oh, if, uh, that's not really a matter of count. That's a matter of what can I admin and how can I uh, <coughs> use it. But yeah. actually, we are running with uh, as few as 30 rules. 
Now, that's not a matter of, of uh, Kuntov rule, but currently we are working with SPAC, that's all. Okay, that's my experiment. I can't make any uh, comparison. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Jose. And here again, um, you can have uh, more, more details uh, to the conference of Dimitri uh, Kazansky in the Embedded Room. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go.